I mean, I don't really know what to say to this other than, you know, as Star Wars fans, we've been waiting for a long time for this because I don't really think she's done that great of a job at pretty much anything with Star Wars. So, yeah, Kathleen Kennedy ready to retire but is waiting for a win, according to entertainment analysts. I mean, just looking at these comments that they're that, that are on X, man, I mean, just people are just tired of her meddling, just tired of her doing things that jack up Star Wars, man. So it's, it's I don't understand why, if you're ready to retire, you are wanting to wait for a win, other than you're trying to stick it to all the fans and say, see, I was right. I don't understand that. I mean, to me, what that says is yo i i have failed obviously nothing is doing well the acolyte is one of the lowest rated tv shows ever as far as disney plus or star wars ever so i don't know what she's trying to get at here other than try to stick her nose and her thumb up at everybody and say hey i told you i was right i knew what i was doing when in reality, this the fans speak with their wallets i mean look how good wolverine and deadpool has done compared to things like the acolyte. She wants to leave on the heels of a massive critical or commercial success. I mean, if she's really waiting for something like that, she's going to be waiting for a long time because I really don't think that she's going to have anything at the helm that's going to be a critical success. Not not as far as like Mando season one and two. Like I just I just don't see anything. And even then, I can't really give her much credit other than doing all the operational stuff. I, I like this right here. Since Disney's initial acquisition of Lucasfilm in 2012, the company has been under her direction. Well, she has done nothing, but <laughs> it's just like, oh my gosh, she's done nothing, but oh man. The franchise has gone from the almost evergreen IP of all time to on a sour note punching bag for YouTubers and streamers all over the world. I mean, look, the reason why Star Wars is a punching bag right now, and I, and I say this, look, Everything I have behind me, I'm a Star Wars fan. But I say this because it's a punching bag because it sucks. If you tell a good story, people will praise you. Look at when Mandalorian came out. People were pumped, man. Everybody was talking about that show. Everybody was praising Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni. It's because they told something that was interesting and it compelled the audience, right? And it's just anytime she's gotten her fingers in the things, it's just... I don't know. It just hasn't done very well. And from what I'm he hearing is that Dave Filoni is pretty much like her Padawan instead of uh, what I originally thought, which was he was more of a George Lucas Padawan. So apparently not. Apparently he, he's not that much of a Lucas guy. Kennedy presided over the deeply unpopular Star Wars trilogy. Yeah. Saw the deconstruction and eventual death of Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. Way to alienate your fans, right? This is so dumb, man. She also oversaw Solo, which I actually think Solo wasn't that bad. It, it wasn't super compelling, but it was a good popcorn flick. Honestly, I think it would have been better for Disney Plus if it had gone out on Disney Plus or if it even, I don't even think it was around at that time, but it would have been a lot lot better if they had done that. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, all these shows, The Acolyte, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, The Book of Boba Fett, they've all been failures. They, ha they haven't been great. Now, don't get me wrong. I've liked some of the things in Obi-Wan and Book of Boba Fett, mostly when Mando was there, and Ahsoka, but it's just like... It, it, it just, she hasn't done anything to wow us. I mean, Ahsoka was the closest good thing since Mando. We've been hearing lately that Kennedy is not very hands-on with Star Wars at this point. Freaking finally, dude, just give it to John Favreau. Just let him run Star Wars. The guy knows how to tell a good story. The guy knows how to direct. The guy knows how to produce. Just let him take it over, man. She wants to retire and leave, but she wants to do it on a win. I just, I don't get it, man. The, the only thing I can think of is the only reason that she's doing this is she's admitting that she failed. She's admitting that she failed and she wants to go out on like a Super Bowl win. You know, and I, I just I just don't see how that's going to be good for Star Wars fans. However, if recent projects are indicative of what the studio under her leadership is capable of, then she might then we might be stuck with. Please, I don't want to be stuck with Kathleen Kennedy any longer. We have to, man. It's just I think most fans are kind of like, dude, just let her ride off into the sunset and let somebody else take over Star Wars, man. This is what's crazy as well. It's pointed out that Leslie Headland led live action series lost 75% of the Star Wars audience that tuned in for the season two finale of the Mandalorian. Holy crap, dude, 75%. That's so ridiculous. Well, here's the good news guys is her contract is set to expire in October. So if anything happens, it's either going to be a renewed contract or she's going to move on in October, which is not very far away. 
so that is the one good news we can take from this. She could potentially be leaving in October. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe or we will execute Order 66. Check out our other videos on the screen as well. Yes, my lord. Blast <laughs> it!